That's 10 seconds goes by pretty fast. How much can 10 seconds do? So if you follow me, I did a video on what it takes to get an awful lot of grip strength. And what, what the reason why I made the video is because I had discovered that contrary to everything that I was taught, that in order to build grip strength, it meant to do wrist curls, doing, doing concentric exercises with weights and resistance. And that's how you build grip strength. And what I found, it was actually time under tension. And the easiest way to do it that I found was actually a dead hang. And the best way I found on to do the dead hang and increase grip strength was to do it with oversized grips. And uh, what I neglected to mention in the video, but in the comments, someone asked a great question and I answered the question is, what do you recommend as far as the workout? And the workout that I stumbled across, stumbled upon, uh, through just trial and error was 30 seconds on and two minutes off rest two two minutes 30 two to two two thirty rest so 30 seconds on two minutes to two minutes and 30 seconds off and i found that was the optimum amount to build up uh, muscle and grip strength fast forward to just recently i listened to the latest tim ferris podcast and it had an interview with dr bauer who coincidentally studied grip strength and specifically uh, he cited, he didn't cite, Emil Abram, Abramson, Abramson uh, uh, who's a, an elite climber and a YouTuber, uh, cited Dr. Bauer, Dr. Bauer's, uh, Dr. Bear's, Bear's uh, research and he created what is now dubbed as the Abrahangs. And that protocol, they're dead hangs, but they're tendon building strength, tendon building strength uh, dead hangs, uh, specifically targeting the tendons and not so much the muscle. Uh, that protocol actually was 10 seconds on, 50 off in a 10 rep set. It doesn't sound like a lot, 10 seconds or 100 seconds to total time under tension. But apparently that's the sweet spot, the minimum effective dose to get a lot of finger tendon strength, which is absolutely crucial for an elite climber. And, uh, but if you couple the two, and, and that was what they led with, because it was sexy, uh, 10 seconds on, 50 seconds off, that's not gonna work. That is a sexy uh, get to grab. Um, uh, but what Dr. Bear, said also is to do it with 30 seconds on and two minutes off to build up the muscle. So 10 seconds protocol builds up the tendon, the 30 seconds, two minute rest builds up the muscle. And so why this works, he cites in, in the podcast, which I'll link, but short story long, it doesn't take that much. You don't have to do weights. In fact, the weights don't do anything and concentric and even debunk the eccentric, the lowering phase of using weights or resistance. Uh, basically, though he never mentions, he never uses the, the term time under tension. That's basically what it is. And uh, there's gotta be a reason why he doesn't mention that. Maybe because it's not sexy enough, um, but uh, it doesn't take very much just takes time to do it, to build up tendon, because tendon, building up tendons takes so much longer than it does to build muscle in your flexors. Um, but yeah, Abrahangs, 10 seconds on, or the long way dead hangs, they're the way to go, especially with, with, with oversized grips, because uh, that gives you a burn in 30 seconds. That's insane. And uh, I'm pretty sure Dr. Bear, when they, they were talking about the 30 second protocol, it was on a normal pull up bar, you know, inch and a quarter bar, not something that's two and a half, two, two and a half inches in diameter, and also spins, by the way. Oh, those, these, they spin. So thanks for watching, and I'll link uh, 
the video about building up insane grip strength that I posted earlier. Thanks for watching.